Exercise 4a. We need to check whether this function, the given function, is injective. Well, what does it mean, injectivity? Well, for each u in the range of a function f, there is at most one original, which means actually that the value u is only attained once. Yeah, so there's one at most one original x such that fx is u. Well, we have uh, several ways to check this. The first method is the following, which is uh, handy many times. It's also sufficient to show that the function on a consideration is strictly increasing. Yeah, in, in fact, if, if you have a strictly monotonic function, then this will do. But here we will show that the f is strictly increasing. Well, this is easily seen by just rewriting uh, the description of f. Yeah, what we might do is we might split off one. What we do is the denominator we 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 add one and we subtract one. So we see that actually here you get one minus two divided by e power 2x plus 1. Well, we see that the, nu the, nu the numerator is increasing, so the reciprocal of the numerator is decreasing. 1 over e to the power 2x plus 1 is decreasing. So with a minus, it's increasing again, so this means that f is strictly increasing. The second method uses the direct definition of in injectivity, like we gave in the lecture. So, can we conclude x is y from starting with fx is fy in general? Well, fx is fy is equivalent with saying that e to the power 2x minus 1 divided by e to the power x plus 1 equals e to the power 2y minus 1 divided by e to the power 2y plus 1 which is equivalent if we multiply on the left and on the right with on our left with e to the power 2y plus 1 and if we also multiply both ways in the equality by e to the power 2x plus 1, we get the equation that we have here, which is, if we work out the brackets, then we get e to the power 2x a e to the power 2y minus 2y plus a e to the power 2x minus 1, and here we get the same thing by working this out. We see that numerous terms cancel on the left and the right, minus 1 is here, minus 1 is there, so the remaining part is what we see here, minus e to the power 2y plus e to the power 2x is minus e to the power 2x plus e to the power 2y, which is equivalent if we move e to the power 2x to one side and e to the power 2y to one side we see that we get this equality, uh, which can only be true if 2x is 2y, or x is y, which we needed to show.